Welcome to the spoken tutorial on first C program. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a simple C program, how to compile it, how to execute it. We will also explain some common errors and their solutions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10 and GCC compiler version 4.6.1 on Ubuntu. To practice this tutorial, you should be familiar with Ubuntu operating system and an editor. Some editors are Vim and Gedit. I will use Gedit in this tutorial. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. Let me tell you how to write a C program through an example. Open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Now let's open the text editor. So at the prompt type gedit space talk dot c space ampersand sign. We use the ampersand to free up the prompt. Please note that all the c files will have extension dot c. Now press enter. The text editor has opened. Let us start to write a program. Type double slash space my first C program. Here double slash is used to comment the line. Comments are used to understand the flow of program. It is useful for documentation. It gives us information about the program. The double slash is called as single line comment. Now press enter. Type hash include space opening bracket closing bracket. It is always a good practice to complete the brackets first and then start writing inside it. Now inside the bracket type stdio.h stdio.h is a header file. A program must contain this header file when it uses standard input output functions. Now press enter. Type int space main opening bracket closing bracket. Main is a special function. It denotes that the execution of the program begins from this line. The opening bracket and closing bracket is called as parenthesis. Parenthesis followed by main is to tell the user that main is a function. Here the int main function takes no arguments. It returns a value of type integer. We will learn about data types in another tutorial. Now let us switch to the slides to know more about main function. Let us go to the next slide. Every program should have one main function. There should not be more than one main function. Otherwise, the compiler cannot locate the beginning of the program. The empty pair of parentheses indicates that main has no arguments. The concept of arguments will be discussed in detail in the upcoming tutorials. Now let us come back to our program. Press enter type opening curly bracket. The opening curly bracket marks the beginning of the function main. Then type closing curly bracket. The closing curly bracket indicates the end of the function main. Now inside the bracket press enter twice. Move the cursor one line up. Indentation makes the code easier to read. It also helps to locate errors faster. So let us give three space here and type printf opening bracket closing bracket printf is a standard C function to print the output on the terminal here inside the bracket within the double quotes anything within the double quotes in the printf statement will be printed on the terminal type talk to a teacher backslash n 
backslash n signifies new line. As a result, after the execution of the printf function, the cursor moves to the new line. Every C statement must end with a semicolon. Hence, type it at the end of this line. Semicolon acts as a statement terminator. Now press enter, give three space here and type return space zero and a semicolon. This statement returns the integer zero. An integer has to be returned for this function because the function type is int. The return statement marks the end of the executable statements. We will learn more about the returned values in another tutorial. Now click on save button to save the file. It is a good habit to save files frequently. This will protect you from sudden power failures. It will also be useful in case the applications were to crash. Let us now compile the program. Come back to our terminal. Type gcc space talk dot c space hyphen o space my output. gcc is the compiler. Talk dot c is our file name. Hyphen o my output says that the executable should go to the file my output. Now press enter. We see that the program is compiled by typing ls space hyphen lrt we can see that my output is the last file to be created to execute the program type dot slash my output press enter here the output is displayed as talk to a teacher as i said before return is the last statement to be executed thus after the return statement nothing will be executed let us try it out. Come back to our program. After the return statement, let us include one more printf statement. Give space here. Type printf. Opening bracket, closing bracket. Inside the brackets, within the double quotes, type welcome. Backslash n. At the end, type a semicolon. Now click on save. Let us compile and execute. Come back to our terminal. You can recall the previously entered commands by using up arrow key. That is what I did now. We see that the second statement welcome is not executed. Now come back to our program. Let us write the welcome statement above the return statement. Click on save. Let us compile and execute. We see that the second printf statement, welcome, has also been executed. Now let us see the common errors which we can come across. Come back to our program. Suppose here I will miss the dot in stdio.h. Click on save. Let us compile and execute. We see that there is a fatal error at line number 2 in our talk.c file. The compiler cannot find a header file with the name stdioh. Hence it is giving an error, no such file or directory and the compilation is terminated. Let us now fix the error, come back to our program, reinsert the dot, click on save. Let us compile and execute. Yes, it is working. I will show you another common error. Let us switch back to the program. Now suppose here I will miss the semicolon at the end of the line. Click on save. Let us compile and execute. We see that there is an error at line number 6 in our talk.c file that expected semicolon before printf. Come back to our program. As I said before, semicolon acts as a statement terminator. 
so it will search for it at the end of the line 5 and at the beginning of the line 6 this is line 6 this is the last place where you can put the semicolon recall that the compiler also gives the error message on line 6 let us try what happens if we put the semicolon here click on save let us compile and execute yes it is working now come back to our program let us type the semicolon here at the end of this line as it is a conventional practice to type the semicolon at the end of the line now click on save let us compile and execute yes it is working now let us go back to our slides as an assignment write a program to print welcome to the world of C see what happens if backslash n is not included in the printf statement this brings us to the end of this tutorial watch the video available at the link shown below it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gift certificate to those who pass an online test for more details please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.